Hello YouTubers, it's Tracy here, or Tubular Bell. Uh, hi Gabriel, it's really good to see you again, glad to have you back. This is Farkin, isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> um, I'm going to try and attempt to answer your three questions as honestly as possible. Um, I think they're interesting questions. Uh, the first one, how do you know when someone really loves you? Now, I've never actually um, felt that I've needed to to question that. If they told me that they loved me, then you know I believed them. That was good enough for me. But um, the real test, I suppose, is is when they see you at your worst and still love you. Um, you know, for example, first thing in the morning when you've got the bed hair and the the bad breath and the smelly armpits, and uh, you know they still want to give you a, a kiss and a hug. And you know when you're uh, confident enough in a relationship to let you know, somebody see you at your worst. I think, I think that's real love. Um, I am curious as to why you asked that question, and uh, I've had a think about it. And I think that uh, if I was, you know, a really gorgeous or famous person or very rich, um, that I would feel less confident in a relationship because then I'd have to, uh, because I've got something else to offer besides just my personality, I would then be, um, you know, questioning their sincerity, whether they were just interested in me for my, for my money or for my fame or for my good looks. Um, you know, I just wanted to wear me like a handbag. And um, I'm going to guess that's possibly why you're asking the question, um, uh, that um, the few months that you've been away from us, that you've, you've had some you know, awesomely whirlwind relationship that uh, possibly has um, gone a bit sour for you and you're, you're now, you know, questioning the sincerity of that person and I hope that's, you know, not what's happened and, um, you know, I certainly wish you, wish you all the best. Uh, your second question, when is it that makes you cross the line? Now, um... I'm not quite sure I really understand what you meant by that question, but uh, the only time I, I feel that I've crossed the line uh, when it comes to relationships with people, I feel that that's only happened to me once in my life. Um, quite recently, I actually talk about it in my um, video called A Personal Tale, if anyone's interested in, in hearing more about it. But uh, 30 years ago, when I was 16 years old, I was... Um, sexually assaulted by my sister's boyfriend and um, my sister chose to you know not even believe me when I told her what happened um, I accepted it at the time and and moved on and and uh, you know nothing was ever done about it or said about it again until a couple of years ago when uh, long after the, that relationship had had ended um, and She's you're right, buddy, and she's still uh, chosen to to not believe me that it happened, and and so I, I regrettably, after all this time, I've had to make the decision to to end a relationship with my sister, and it absolutely wasn't taken lightly. It was a 30-year decision, and um, I still feel very sad about that. Uh, because family is everything to me, very important to me, and you know, I, I still do love my sister, but um, yes, I think the, the thing that I've learnt is that you do have to protect yourself. You do have to um, put, put your own needs first, you know, um, because no one else is going to protect you. You have to protect yourself. and people who shouldn't be in your life, people who aren't worthy or appreciative of being in your life, they just shouldn't, they don't, you don't need to have them there. So, yes, that's that's it for me. Um, and do you ever think that life has stolen something from you? Well, no, I don't. I, I have regrets. Um, I'm not a very confident person. I don't, you know, I, I've never jumped out of a plane. I um, even... You know, I'll never be the stand-up comedian that I always wanted to be. Um, I even I even struggled to hold down a full-time job, uh, which you know 
has stopped me from being able to do things like you know travel and and see the world and and so I have missed out on a lot of things in in life due to my own uh, lack of confidence and, and anxiety. But um, you know those things weren't stolen from me. They 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 were given to me, and and you know I I chose to um, you know I chose to let fear uh, you know hold back hold me back from you know living life to the to the fullest. So um, you know that so that means I. I might have stolen something from myself, but you know, certainly life is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I've got my health, my my children are healthy, and I really believe that that's all that should matter to anybody: health, the health of you, yourself, and your loved ones. And if you've got that, you, you should you shouldn't feel that anything's you know been been stolen from you. And and you know, if anybody who's lost someone to to ill health or or, or um, t you know, to death. Um, though only those people I feel really have a right to feel that you know life has stolen something from them, and you know the rest of us pretty much should be happy with um, with what we've got. So um, I'll leave it there. Um, I've been as honest as I can be. I certainly hope that that um, you know uh, what I've said. Um, comes across as as, as uh, sincere because um, that's what YouTube's all about for me is is you know being as honest and sincere as you possibly can be and and um, thanks for listening and uh, great to see you back Gabriel I wish you well and uh, I look forward to some more of your videos and uh, so it's bye bye from me and bye bye from little Farkin who's asleep okay. Yeah.